Hey, this is Pat, and today we're checking out the all-new Fox Racing Ranger Gore-Tex jacket. Now, the Ranger within Fox's line is going to be one of three new outfits that is going after you ADV riders or adventure riders out there in this all-new push from Fox Racing. The Ranger is going to be the entry-level price point. I say that. It's still coming in at $550, but you are getting Gore-Tex and a few other things I'll explain in just a minute, but you got the Ranger at the bottom, the Defend in between, and then you have the Recon at the top. Basically, what you're looking at is the Ranger is going to be uh, very light on specific features all the way throughout. So that's some great ones that we'll talk about. The Defend gets a little bit more robust, and then the Recon combines those two to look very streamlined while offering great protection throughout. So while we're looking at the Ranger here, this is going to be aimed at you three to four season ADV riders out there. Anybody who's putting just as much miles down on the tarmac as they are on the trails. This is going to be able to get you through some of the hotter weather. It does have that waterproof Gore-Tex liner all the way through throughout that is laminated to the exterior. It's got some direct vents, some of the biggest vents I've seen on an ADV jacket in the front as well as some armpit vents, and there's no thermal insulation or anything like that, so you'd have to bring your own thermal, but you have the availability to adjust it based on which season you're out there riding. But before I get too long-winded, let's talk about the overall fit. I have Norman on my left. He's six foot three, 220 pounds, with a 44-inch chest, currently wearing this jacket in a size large. Now, if you look at the size chart, a 44 would actually fall in an extra large, but we find the largest fitting Norman spot on. Has plenty of range of motion, lots of movement, and everything like that if you are ripping around on the trails, you're going to be moving around on the bike a ton, and the large seems to be doing the best job here for Norman. So take that measurement, look at that size chart, and we'd say go down at least one full size. It comes in, like I said before, at $550, comes in sizes ranging from small up to three extra large, and this one is available at, at the moment in two different colorways, although as we know with Fox, they tend to come out with new colorways every season. So let's start at the top and work through. The main construction is going to be Gore-Tex throughout. It's a two-layer Gore-Tex main construction. It's a stretch all the way throughout. And then they use their non-stretch SPL Gore-Tex 400 material in the key abrasion zones, like running down the outer shoulders and the sleeves. Anywhere where you want to make sure it's abrasion resistant, they're using that beefier non-stretch material. So keep that in mind. We have an adjustable collar up top that you can adjust it and snap it in position, depending on where you like it. If you like it tighter, if it's raining, you can get that up against your neck a lot tighter and keep that nice and secure. Neoprene wrap around the entire collar there. And like I said, it's SPL 400 running down the outer shoulders. And underneath that is going to be CE level 2 D3O uh, armor. Now, this is going to be a great option at the outer shoulder. Provides a lot of protection. You also get it at the elbow. When we go to the back protector, though, that's going to be a CE level 1 D3O Viper back protector. But I love the LP2 armor. Has nice uh, ventilation all the way throughout, but it's going to provide that impact protection should you go down in the dirt. Looking at the sleeves, you have reflective pops on the outside. I think they did the reflective pretty tastefully on the Ranger. It's well hidden. It's sublimated in nice little zones. I like that they did that. And you get the stretch all the way down at the armpits, all the way down to the cuff as well, to match the more beefier material on the outside of the sleeve. Down at the cuff closure, it's just a simple Velcro cuff closure. If you're wearing gauntlet gloves, shorter gloves, you can adjust it to make sure it's going to match with your gloves. Coming down the front, it is Velcro and YKK dual zipper running down the front. And then I mentioned before you have some massive ventilation running down the entire front. So if we actually look at this, this is going to be a waterproof jacket, but you have these direct vents up front. I'm just going to hook that in very awkwardly on Norman. You get that full ventilation going in. Now there's no exhaust vents on the back. You do have some extra vents at the armpits, which I'll show you in a second. But this is a massive intake vent running down the front of the jacket with waterproof zippers. You also get it on the other side as well. Let me just pull that down there. So you can get ventilation running through around your torso to really help cool off on those hotter days. Dual hand warmer pockets at each side, and that's actually going to be a waterproof pocket as well, so it is hidden behind that laminated Gore-Tex liner. Norman, go ahead and turn to the left for me. Hit that riding position. You're not going to be able to see it too well, but I'll show you the zipper down here. It is a shorter zipper right here at the armpit, but it's going to act as the only exhaust venting coming out of this jacket. If you look at the Defend and the Recon, you get larger zippers at the armpits for more ventilation, but at this base model that they have here in the Ranger, you're just getting a short section right there. It will help cool you off. It is a very hot area under your armpits when you're out riding, so I like that they've added that in there to suck all that hot air out. Bit of that stretch, uh, gore stretch material that I called out adds up into the shoulder uh, adjustment area. You know, you can actually flex and hit the riding position. And then that continues all the way down to the waistline where there is a cinch cord inside should you need to pull in the waist. You can turn to the back for me. 
At the back you see all this up top is going to be that beefier SPL 400 material and then you get the stretch all the way throughout the back with that D3O Viper CE Level 1 as well as the reflective across the back. Now I mentioned the armor before, one thing I want to talk about, the abrasion level on this one is only CE Level A, so Fox, if you're listening, I'd love to see that get bumped up for both the pants. The entire line is only CEA and I know this is aimed at off-road riding, but anybody who's connecting those trails with some tarmac sections, CE AA would have been great for the abrasion resistance throughout. You also get a drop seat down at the base and that's going back to that SPL 400 material. It's going to be a little bit beefier should you should it sit underneath of you or go down or if you're sitting off on the side of the trail. You can go ahead and swing around open up the front for me here as we get a good look on the inside. One thing I want to call out, it is a dual zipper all the way down, and it is that, that Velcro over top, so it's going to make sure to keep all the water out. And you do have the gator here, just in case water gets through that zipper. Really simple mesh interior liner with a couple stash pockets on this side. You'll actually see a phone stash pocket up there with a, a headphone pass-through should you need it. And that white you're seeing behind the mesh liner is that laminated Gore-Tex. So that is going to be that waterproofing that, again, from Gore, that is guaranteed to keep you dry for the life of the garment. You can go ahead and zip that up, man. So there you have the Ranger. Again, this is going to be the the entry level into the new Fox ADV line. And I think they did a great job at reaching out and getting materials out there that are known. You have Gore-Tex throughout the stretch. They're using D3O. They have on the back protector included, which is pretty rare at this price point. If it was me, I just love to see that CEAA rating instead of the CEA, just to bump up the overall tarmac protection should you be using this to connect the trails with a little bit of road sections. But if you have any other questions, go ahead and click that info button. That's going to take you over to our product page where you can read other rider reviews and see what other riders are saying about the new Ranger line. If you still have questions about that, or if you have questions on the overall sizing or which one of the three in Fox's line is right for you, reach out to our customer service team. They're all riders, happy to help you get set up on your next ride. I want to thank you for joining Norman and I in checking out the all-new Fox Racing Ranger Gore-Tex jacket. I'm Pat, and I'll see you in the next video.